Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back to So Musk Tech. Today we've got something special for you. We're diving straight into the world of the Tesla Cybertruck and some extreme tests that it's faced. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like. Now let's jump into it. Today's first segment is the Tesla Cybertruck water test. You know we love pushing tech to its limits and this time we've got the Tesla Cybertruck in the hot seat. Teres Muksimic, the man behind TechRax, took the Cybertruck for a spin, quite literally, in some deep waters. You've seen trucks going off-road and into deep waters, but something like this has never occurred before. Muksimic didn't hold back, subjecting the Cybertruck to multiple deep water tests. Wade mode engaged the Cybertruck effortlessly cruised through large puddles. But of course the truck had to go to the next level driving it through seriously deep puddles. And guess what? The Cybertruck handled it like a champ. Could we be looking at the future of boat mode, which Elon Musk hinted at? The Cybertruck might be the ultimate electric off-roading vehicle, and if you do want to see the full test video, check out TechRex's video linked down below. Now, switching up gears to some surprising news about Elon Musk. Reporters are buzzing about the Tesla and SpaceX CEO being nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize by Norwegian lawmaker Marius Nielsen. The reasons? Because Elon Musk is promising free speech through the social media platform X and Starlink's role in aiding Ukraine in its conflict with Russia. If you're thinking it's controversial, <laughs> it absolutely is. Let's dive into some details. According to the Daily Mail, Nielsen argued that Musk's contribution to free speech and the use of Starlink in Ukraine demonstrate a valuable contribution to world prosperity and peace. Now, whether you love or you hate Elon Musk, this nomination is bound to spark some heated debate. What are your thoughts on this? I would definitely want to hear them, so drop them down in the comments down below. Alright, so Tesla enthusiasts, let's just talk about the latest software update. Tesla just dropped the software update 24.2.6, and it's all about making your navigation experience better than ever. Tesla's navigation system has always been top-notch, but this update brings some features that fans have been waiting for for a while. The update includes marks, which identifies things like accidents and road closures, a feature that we've seen in other navigation platforms like Apple, Google Maps, and Waze. Tesla is stepping up its game, providing more notifications about upcoming road conditions. The update also allows you to choose routes with no tolls and gives you options for a more scenic drive. Now let's dig into the details. Tesla's continuous improvements in navigation has always been impressive, and this update is no exception. What features would you like to see in future updates? Now going from the navigation update to the moment that many Tesla fans have been waiting for, the full self-driving or FSD beta version 12.2.1 is officially rolling out. Select customers are getting a taste of the neural net-based software, and the initial reviews are in, so let's break it down. Multiple users have shared their experiences, and it seems like a significant leap from the previous version. Mark Bixby, who's been using the FSD beta since 2021, calls it the biggest release-to-release -release improvement. He continues to say, but hey, it's still a beta software and drivers need to remain vigilant. Remember, you're still the driver even with these impressive advancements. The FSD beta version 12.2.1 can even make U-turns smoothly, showcasing the power of Tesla's neural network approach. This is Omar of Whole Mars Catalog showing off the FSD beta in action. And of course, this is incredible stuff. The future of autonomous driving is getting closer and closer every single day. And I want to know what your thoughts of Tesla's FSD beta. Are you excited or do you have any concerns? And just like that, that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to get more future updates. Until next time, stay tuned for the latest in Tesla and everything Musk news. See you guys in the next video.